every steampunk and Victorian buddy. Why would I say that? Well, that's the art direction in the new series that I'm starting, which is called Thief. This is the 2014 title that was just released a few days ago. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't start it because it took me about five or six days just to debug it. Um, there's a lot of problems with the graphics. Uh, Eidos Montreal released it uh, as a piece of crap, really. So I'm going to go into the display and I'll show you what I picked. I chose a 1440p. Um, I tried to get all the way up to 4K resolution, but it just wouldn't uh, my graphics card wouldn't handle it properly uh, because of some of the new graphics features that are in Thief and I'll go through those in just a moment. So um, I did turn on exclusive full screen. That actually reduced um, the stuttering problems that I was having uh, a little bit. I'm just going through the HUD controls. Really good. Now we'll go into graphics and I'll show you what the hell went wrong. So uh, field view is correct. Um, Texture quality is great. Yeah, I, I can get it up to 60 times for an isotropic filtering. Screen space reflection is uh, an easy way to render uh, reflections. Um, the problem that I was having is going to um, is right here. Super sampled anti-aliasing. Yeah, I had it on high here and I turned it off and that fixed the problem. There's also fast approximate anti-aliasing and that's what FXAA is. Now here's contact hardening shadows you just saw a moment ago. That sharpens shadows that are closer to the camera and then it blurs you know, far away. Okay, let's start the new game. And by the way, because we um, took about five days just to solve all these graphics problems, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full walkthrough now. It'll at least be a raw idiotic series, but I might go all the way. And I am going to choose Master. You see, I'm about to uh, get my ass handed to me with Master, but you know, I didn't do so bad in Dishonored on the hardest setting, so let's try it. Yeah, and you won't be able to change the difficulty setting. <laughs> so eventually I said, originally I said no, but then I came back and I decided yes. So let's launch the game. There's one thing this city's taught me. You can put a price on anything. Secrets, reputations, a life, and trust. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all, when did I ever pay for anything? <laughs> so we're gonna find out who me is exactly. Now, we start in this room. The idea is to learn how to loot stuff. And gee, that's not too hard to figure out, is it? Um, and there is a lot of loot. Uh, oh, that's exciting. I made a noise because I stepped on it. So remember, everything is super stealthy and it's all centered around stealth. So there's going to be a lot of uh, shadow play, a lot of uh, uh, noise making, uh, or like noise avoidance. Um, and also, there's going to be a lot of cases like this where there's just a lot of loot in one room. And if there's too much loot, then I think I might actually s speed up the particular room or that little sequence and that way you can watch me loot everything at like triple speed and then um, you won't get bored like this but you know it was the first time we ever started the game so let's loot the hell out of everything right oh then there's one more place to loot see you can loot this and don't forget the drawers see oh there's two drawers oh there was nothing in there aha uh -huh. Uh, well, actually, that must mean that there might have been another drawer that I missed over here. No, there isn't. Okay, so now we're going to hop and shop along this plank here. And it's going to start feeling a lot like Dishonored. And it is the same engine. It's the Unreal 3 engine. It's just that this is heavily modified for specifically for uh, Thief. Eidos Montreal chose Unreal 3 again. I, I don't know. I just can't wait until developers start using the Unreal 4 engine. Um, so like I was saying, I haven't decided if this is going to be a full walkthrough or not uh, because of how long it took me just to fix these stinking graphics problems that Eidos Montreal caused. Yes, it was them. It wasn't me. It was them. Because Bioshock Infinite uh, played fine right out of the box. I mean, there were a few uh, frame rate issues, but, you know. Oh, yeah, sudden movements near birds will disturb them, alerting anyone nearby. Someone's a bird lover. Oh, yeah. That painting's been my taste. 
We should oh, take yeah. a closer look. Okay, so how do we do this? Move the mouse or movement keys. Feel for hidden hidden switches. Okay, we'll feel for hidden switches. Oh, there it is. Hold it. Aha, that's how you do it. Wasn't that cute? This is kind of fun. It's like a hands-on type of first-person game. Now, oh, there it is. And pooping. And, ah, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. There we go. Well, that's not too hard, but I bet some of the others are really tough to pick. All right. I was just moving my mouse around, that was all. Ooh, it's a ruby necklace. What the? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody. Well, they do call the rooftops the thieves highway. Uh-huh. I just what hope that's not who I think it is. Oh, it could be a friend? Okay, I thought it was going to be someone about to slaughter me or cut my throat. Uh, let's see. Oh, collectibles. Okay. So I found one collectible. And what is it? Oh, it's this. Yes. It is indeed. Ooh, it feels like uh, Skyrim, doesn't it? Whee! Okay. And view Mappa. I'm... Oh, my name is Garrett. Okay. Well, we found out who me is. Uh, okay. Let's... Well, there's only one way to go, so let's head out this way. Whoa. This is such a weird look. It's too bright, actually. Yeah, it's way too bright. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, there we go. Let's play with this brightness for a little while and see if that uh, makes a big difference. It does seem to, because now we can see the god rays from the sun. Okay, oh, we have to go this way, eh? Aha! Okay. Well, we... Oh, rope arrow, huh? Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I've just equipped it with eight. Isn't that wonderful? And we can't go anywhere else, so we're... Oh, hold Y to observe? Okay. Ah. Hold to draw the bow. And then release to fire rope arrow at the anchor beam. That's somewhat interactive, but it also means that we can only... Whoops. Whoa. Well, we can't fall off. That's good. So it's hard to screw up. Good. And let's do this, and then hold W to climb, and then space to jump, and then space to leap, okay? <coughs> ah, there she is. Aaron. Hey, baby. Of course it is. Care to make a little more noise next time? How else would you know it was me? Oh, that is such a fake ass. Basso did tell you we were working together on this, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. That's interesting. Come on, it'll be just like old times. Voice actors with American accents of the 21st century. Okay, that's really noisy. God dang. This, this thing is just riddled with problems right off the bat. I don't need that kind of... There we go. There we go. I thought that said sex volume. <laughs> Voice volume, sex volume. That would be for Witcher 3, I think. There we go, that's a little Just better. Just jump across. Okay. Good. What is this? Three, two, one, zero? Oh, it's the number of feet or yards I have to go for the next objective. Okay, well this is kind of fun, right? Whee! It's kind of showing off the um, Parker, the Parker style. Whoa! <clears throat> Glad you could make it. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because he thought it'd be fun? <laughs> Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. Did you pick that American accent because it's easy or because <laughs> that's what they happen to have in this gothic village? Oh, a light gem, eh? Okay, whether or not you're a hidden in shadows. Okay, well that's good to know. So how do I hide? I don't know how to do that. Are you going to use oh, any there, of those shadows, there. Lady Lamplight? I was just scouting ahead. I know you always like to go uh -huh, first. Ah, I see. Uh-huh. That's good to know. We're going to have to figure out what that green arc is. I don't know what the green arc means. Okay. Oh, press E near corners to peek around them. Okay. Ooh. Who's this? And then you can hold to lean, see? And you can lean backwards. And then how do you get out of it? Okay, there we go. That's kind of fun. And I've already forgotten the... I just forgot the key to do that. God, my memory sucks. 
I just saw it on the screen like five seconds ago. All right. So let's ooh, let's look in here. You should get yourself one of these. See you on the other side. Oh, it's a mace. Looks like I won't be going that way. Oh yeah, it's let's like let's finish a, unloading before summer's day is over. Climbing Why not drink to a job well done first? We, we can't just leave the cart out here. It's festival time. Your uh -oh. average thief uh -oh. will be under a table in an oh, alehouse. Mm -hmm. And the watch will be liquored up too. I'm not haggling fines with a drunk guard again. Okay. Shh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oops. Okay, they didn't see me. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna find what I'm looking for over here, I guess. Uh, hello? Well, there's some. Whatever. Oh, I see what's happening. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Press space to climb ladders. Well, this is obviously the way to go because there's loot along the way. So far it's linear, but I think it opens up. It's going to be semi-open world, but it'll be kind of like Dishonored. You know, you can travel freely between the districts, but it's not a total open world game, obviously, <clears throat> right? Garrett, come on. Ooh, that's a cool look, huh? What? Garrett, come on. Oh, okay. Hmm. Jealous of the claw? Oh, it's I made it claw. myself. I'm sure the watch will be very impressed. They'll certainly hear us coming. They'll have to catch me first. Just be aware of your surroundings. Uh -huh. It's not about taking in the sights, Garrett. It's about taking in the loot. Okay, Miss America. From the 21st century with the 21st century accent. <laughs> You do still steal, right? Yeah. I've been stealing since before you could crawl. <laughs> There's the Garrett I know. How about a friendly wager? Let's see who can take in the most. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, whoops. I pressed the wrong button. So it looks like I'm going this way. Fine. Who's down there? Ooh. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it is really linear at the moment. This is just kind of to understand how to play the game. Break objects with blackjack. Oh, I didn't know I had a blackjack. Okay, so now there goes the ladder. Let's climb. Huh? Uh-oh, someone's on to me. Well, they can just go screw themselves because I'm out of here. Oh, shut up. Look what I found. Oh. You and me out on the town? Yeah. Why did we stop doing this again? Do you really need to ask? Uh, hey, she's disappeared. What the hell? Well, there's some drunk idiot barfing on the tree. Okay. Well, let's... Are you going to let me do this or what? <laughs> ah, there. I think it was the same key as uh, running in Skyrim and Bioshock Infinite, which is the shift. Well, no, Bioshock Infinite, which is shift. Of course it would be. Well, I have s shears now. I don't know if I can do anything with it. Hold E to peer through keyholes. Oh, cool. Let's check it out. Uh, where is the keyhole? Well, poop. Oh. Yeah, okay, I closed it. Oh, hold E, okay. It pays to keep a low profile in places where I'm not welcome. There's a lot of those places. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I, now I'll remember E. Oh, shit. How do you get out of here? Oh, that's so freaking annoying. Oh, there. You have to press the mouse. How dumb. But anyway, I'm just kind of a little bitter toward Adios because they made me wait five days to play this stinking thing and it ruined the walkthrough. Adios, Adios. Let's see if I'm ever gonna buy one of your games again. Okay, oh, watch this. Yeah, so remember, you're gonna have to, it's going to be up to the audience whether this is a full walkthrough or just a raw idiotic series, you know, where I just upload maybe one video every week, uh, yeah, which just happens to be the uh, position I'm at in the game as I progress through the game, like maybe once a week I just record and start recording where I happen to be at the moment. Um, or I could do a full series. It's up to you. 
Hard to keep a secret in this yeah. neighborhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, reach the drop location. Okay, there's a document. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, come on. Do we have to go through this? Okay, so this doesn't make us want to read these things because you have to, like, click three times just to get to the uh, interface, and I don't like that. But anyway, pause if you want to read it, okay? There. I'll do this. I've got player progression. Oh, resources. I have a rope arrow. Yeah, okay, great. Isn't that nice? Uh, ooh, anything else? Well, yes. this is actually a good place to end because we're going to approach 16 minutes in a moment. So remember, it's up to you whether I do a full walkthrough or just a raw idiotic footage. I will do five consecutive videos for sure um, just to uh, get the ball rolling, uh, to build momentum and see if it's worth it to do a full series. All right, so if you like this one, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get all these thief videos in your inbox. Also, Skyrim, Fallout 3, Bioshock Infinite. I'll be doing some Witcher 2. Also, uh, other random footage of other games too, All right? Come back every day and I'll have a new video for you. I'm trying to upload every day and I'll get back into that uh, routine very soon. And follow me on Twitter and you'll get an alert every time I upload something. All right? We'll see you next time in the city. Thanks for watching.